I need to burp. There you Do go. It. We're we're live now. I wait. <laughs> Does anyone remember this? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I did that last stream though. <laughs> did you? Yeah. It's called the Mash, and uh, we were—it was a thing in high school for some reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know why. All right. Was it the Oops. Monster I Mash? Just we are back, body. guys. Are we? There? Hey, we are. We are back again with the uh, Rule of Cool, and uh, our dance party is over. But yes, welcome to Rule of Cool, episode uh, five. Madam Eva's Fortune. Um, we're uh, continuing off where we left, left last week, but we'll give a little bit of a lead up to that. A um, little bit of a backstory for everyone who's maybe new to watching. Um, a group of found their way to uh, the mysterious land of Barovia, and through many trials and tribulations, um, found their way to meeting a man named Ismark. Um, he requested their help to uh, save his sister. Uh, which led them to meeting his sister, his adopted sister, Irina Kolia. No. Um, she agreed to that uh, for them to help usher her to safety, but uh, she she had one request. Uh, their father had died th three days prior, and she wanted to give him a proper bur burial, but no one was in town was willing to help because of her connections with Strahd. Um, coming in, you guys openly um, accepted the help, accepted to help her, uh, bring, ushering her father off to um, the chapel, where you met with uh, the very sketchy priest, Donovich. Um, he agreed to help and uh, perform the ceremony for the Burgomeister of the village of Barovia. Um, but while you were there, you heard some strange no noises in the basement of the chapel. Um, choosing to go on without his, uh, his per blessing, uh, you found his son held up in the basement, starved but not dead over the last year as a vampire spawn. Um, from there, you guys proceeded to deal with him, um, taking a few bites yourselves. And as you're leaving the basement, you heard a large bell ring. Coming upstairs, and back into the chapel, you found Donovich hanging from the rope of the bell tower. I forgot about that part. This no, is I, where I, we come back to. All right, Lee all is immediately first. If you're seeing, I'm going to need your help. Uh, and uh, of course, charges over. At help me catch him. Mm -hmm. And she uses her sword and slices the rope. And I will. And does her best to catch Donovich's body. Of course. Um, so with that, I'm going to need Fjordstein to make a strength uh, strength check. Oh. oh. Woo! <laughs> 19. 19? <laughs> well, so as, 19 plus 4, but you know. As Lee comes through and slashes through the. Um, the rope, you put your arms out and you you catch Donovich's form. Um, he's a large man, but you're able to hold the weight back. Um, what do you know? Right. Uh, Fjorsten, bring him out mm -hmm. to the yard. Of um, course, yep, and I will walk towards I'll be right back. Uh, now Lee's gonna go back into the Undercroft and grab the remains of Doru, bring him up out of the, uh, obviously not removing the stake just yet, uh, bringing him up out of the Undercroft and out into the back, the uh, graveyard, that's the word, um, <laughs> out into the sunlight if it's sunny. Is it? Um, the land is usually overcast here in Barovia, but there are intermittent sun sunspots. Um, as you bring him out, um, you realize that the overcast is a little bit lesser now, it being uh, late, uh, lot, more of noon, the noon hour. Um, as you start pulling out Doro, you start hearing a tss, sizzling sound, okay. and you see his his um, exposed any exposed area of, of his skin starting to sizzle and smoke. 
Okay. Uh, Lee is going to... She's she's not just going to straight up drop him, but she's going to set him down in the sunlight as kind of a lot more quickly than she normally would. Uh, smoke and all that. Um, and she's immediately, without a word, she's just going to stomp over and set to digging two graves. Of course. Uh, make an athletics check. Yep. Would you like help with grave digging? Uh, apparently I don't, because that's a nat 20. <laughs> We're wasting all our time. <laughs> very quickly, you're actually able to, within the next 30 minutes or so, you, with determination of everything that you've experienced through Barovia fueling you, you're able to dig these two graves very quickly. All right. Uh, Lee, well, well, what, 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 while this is going on, what is everyone else doing? If you're seeing, you're technically still uh, holding Donovich. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be over near Lee, you know, seeing okay. if she needs assistance with anything. Of course. With the bodies. So, over the next half I'm, hour, the holes are dug. I'm oh. just gonna rest up. Of course. Like, Anyone who wants to take a short rest and look at this exhausted. Time, please feel free to. You have enough time. Um. Uh. Honestly, are, like. Honestly, as all that's happening, Rinnere kind of looks around a little bit and just excuse me for a second, and the sound of retching can be heard outside. Oh. Of course. <laughs> That's, also that's would fair. be overwatching the proceedings. Of course. Right. Uh, Lee will probably look at one of the others at some point. My question to you for Lee is, what did you do with Doro uh, after you bolted him outside and he started to sizzle? Uh, I probably asked Left someone to keep sun. an eye it's on him. Season. Left him in okay. the sun, probably, just to make sure that he wasn't going to get back up. Have someone watch okay. over him. and Because uh, Lee's... She's not doing okay right now. Um, so she's not paying the most attention. Uh, can someone look around and see if there are any coffins around? I'd prefer to not just dump this poor man in a hole. Um, yeah. Whoever wants to look for that can roll investigation. Well, Sanka will take a look since uh, the others seem to be occupied. Of course. Investigation. Uh, yeah, he's obviously pretty distracted because that's an at one. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, you don't seem to you don't seem to find any. Mm-hmm. Nothing okay. in good repair, at least. No. All right. Um, any fabric or at least a burial shroud. I don't. There were blank. I think there were. There were some linens in the church in one of the bedrooms. If someone could, like, this, obviously she's doing this while she's digging the holes. Yep. Um, I'll, she's I'll not just ordering people around willy nilly. You are able to strip the beds. Um, who is watching Doru? I'll, I guess I'll be. Okay. Yeah, so Donovan about... Shane exactly moving. Yeah, after <laughs> a good, you mean, minute and a half while she started digging, Doru has started just turning to ash. Oh, well, that's nice. At least he won't be getting back up. Are you gonna tell Lee this, or she's oh. focused on digging a hole? I mean, I'll tell you after you're done. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, Let you dig that geez. hole first. I, I think trying to read the situation, uh, Greenery would go over and drape something over him so he stops burning. Of course. Okay, so after, you I mean, you've noticed this, uh, you drape something over it, and... Um, oh, we didn't want yeah. him to burn? I mean, Lee dragged him out in the sun for that specific reason. I thought we did want him to turn to ash, so he would never, ever get back up. Ah, right, sorry, a little, uh, confused today, and I pull it back <laughs> off. <laughs> Oh, goodbye, webcam. Oh. <laughs> well, all right. So at this point, Lee's finished digging the hole and wiping her hands. Uh, burial shroud. She looks for the blankets and yeah. her linens or whatever. So- Sakla hands over what's little more than bed sheets, but... It'll have to do. Thank you, Sakla. Uh, then... Luna, Mira, um, 
I'm about ready to lay this man to rest. I'll need you to do the last rites. And she just okay. le wraps up Donovich. And that being done, she'll go over to uh, the, I guess, pile of ash that is Doru. Um, <laughs> and I guess she'll go inside and look for a broom to try and sweep the ashes. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> oh, well. She's going to sweep so, yes. the ashes into a Doru satchel or something. Doru is a pile of ash by the time you're done. Yeah. Can you so just investigation shovel him? to find a broom? Yeah, we have a shovel. shovel him. Yeah, we can um, just like scoop him up and put him in the grave. Yeah. Um, investigation, you can roll. You want to try to find a broom? Sure. Uh, that's a nine on the die. Where's Arena? Plus, uh, thirteen. Uh, unfortunately, you don't find a broom. Um, All right. While searching the um, chapel, you kind of realize that this place is pretty not taken care of. All right. Nothing for it. Uh, Irina is just... currently sitting sitting back, uh, talking to Ismark. Um, Jesus. You guys can't quite hear what they're saying. They're off at a distance. I think I'm going to approach them. Of course. All right. Uh, I guess Lee will brush. Like, there's nothing um, for it. She's going to use her hands to kind of scoop wait. them into a scrap of fabric and tie it off. Of course. Oh, my God. Um, I could, uh, if possible, I could, uh, like, druidcraft a little bit of a gust to kind of help gather what's left. It helps. You're able to get all of, you know, I mean, the majority of Doru. Thank you, Lena Ray. <laughs> this is excellent. Um, switching to Mira. Hmm. Um, you were saying you're approaching them? Yeah. They're, okay. They're, they're off by, by the, the cart and the, and Penelope just talking. Did they stop talking? Uh, yeah, like the general, like not like awkwardly, they're not like they're like they're okay. not like it's like you walked up and like they're like hello, um hi, um I felt like earlier I didn't say enough um for your father um I I'm really sorry for your loss uh I also lost my father. And, um, I, w I wasn't able to bury him. I, w I didn't, I guess I didn't go. Um, we, I, I guess I wish, um, I actually knew more about him. Uh, I guess, uh, I'm just happy that you had a good relationship with your father and that you were able to lay him to rest like this. Um, with this, Irina will, uh, come down to your level. She'll take a knee. So, thank you. Your, uh, your words mean great, great things to me and my brother. We are sorry to hear that you do not have the relationship with your father. Um, I will say that, uh, Finding love in other places can help with that. You mean? I, uh, I never, I do not remember my true father and mother, but you seem to have <laughs> a great relationship with your sister. And I hope Hi. that, uh, that can help fill that void that you seem to think you are missing. And she'll come on, and she'll uh, she'll go to like pull you into a hug. I will hug her, <laughs> but it's like oh, like an exhausted like. She mm -hmm. kind of just kind of collapsed against her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like she doesn't look too. She looks pretty weak and tired and sick. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's about it. I guess I'll just kind of stay with them. Okay. Uh, what next? We need um, some words spoken for these people. Yeah. Uh, suppose if no one else will, I'll. Well, I had to do this once in a while, back in Penumbra. So uh, Sankla will draw Polaris and plant the tip uh, just ahead at the head of the grave. 
like a makeshift cross. Uh, the blade will light. For those who are crossing the border from life into death, and those who are hovering between, may the light of Polaris guide your way through to whichever whichever gates you may fall through next, whichever heaven or aether you may come through. May you find your warden, your guide, your guardian, your knight, and may you guide the next when they come after. And with that, Polaris lets out a long glow above the the grave. Um, have you? I'm wondering, have you guys buried uh, Donovich yet, or is it still an open grave? Uh, for now, it's still an open grave. Next, Lee was going to lower him into the. Uh... So, with that, as Polaris starts to glow, so does Donovich. Well, uh, it's not as bright, but it is a faint light. And as the ceremony ends, so does the light disappear. All right. Lay will lower down a bit. Or, I mean, I guess she'll look at Fjorsten for help. She's beyond words at this point. And she'll just start lowering Donovich into the grave. I'll help if it's needed. Then, yeah. What? I won't Check? make you guys roll for this. No? The funeral rite. You guys know what you're doing. Okay. Lee's and done it all too many times. You are... You're and... both in the zone for this. You're... You lower Donovich down. You start c covering him with dirt. Well, before that... No. Lee, um... Did it say if I dug one or two graves? You did say you were digging two. Okay, perfect. Then the next one, we will go go over to the next one, and she'll take the tiny satchel of ashes of Doru and place it in the hole. And she'll say, Rest in peace, you poor child. It is clear your father loved you very much. And... May you find your way to the lands of your ancestors. Then she'll just start filling the graves. As you do this, you all look on and take a very self inner self look at where you have and what you've experienced in the last few days. You all Feel a tinge of fear for what lies next, for what Barovia can hold for you, for it's everything you've seen so far is nothing but terrifying, terrifying death. But in that moment, you look and you see a father who cared so much for his son that he couldn't live knowing that he had de died. And you look over at your companions and realize you found a weird little group, family, whatever you want to call it. As the bodies are buried and you all turn away from the chapel and start heading back. What would you like to do now? Well, I guess Lee is probably just going to start um, marching back towards town, possibly back towards the inn, just somewhere to stop and uh, regroup. Um, can I talk to Ismark for a second? Of course, okay. Ismark is sitting there. Ismark is sitting there. Um, Ismark. Yes. I was wondering, do you have need for this cart anymore? Um, I don't believe so, no, you know. I think the days of uh, 
me traveling kind of went with the horse, didn't don't you? <laughs> I guess. If you're asking what I think you're asking, it is a small pittance I can give for what you've already done for us and what you have agreed to do. It'd be wonderful and a great help. Of course. He puts his hand on your shoulder. Thank you. No, thank you. For everything you've done. <laughs> this is literally nothing. It's the least I can do. Thank you. Well, uh, today has already seemed like quite a long day. Oh, oh boy, does it. Got a lot more I to see, go through. If you still plan on helping my sister... Of course. Leave in the morning. You have rooms in the inn, on me, of course. And whatever drinks you may want for the night. That's very generous of you. Thank you. Well, I told you that before, but I forgot to pay for it, so... (laughs) (laughs) He kind of looks down like... He's putting on a very brave face, Mm -hmm. but you can see that today has been a long day for him. When he says it's been a long day, he makes the joke that it's a for you, but you can see that it's... He buried his father today. Mm -hmm. As much as his father has been gone for a few days, this the day he buried his father. Um, yeah. Okay. We'll do all we can to help. And I'll go to the rest of the group and we'll figure out what to do. Of course. I'd like to be at the back of the group just lugging mm-hmm. along. Well, we got a cart now so we can put you on that. <laughs> I actually might take up that offer. Um... If Lee has already gone off ahead, uh, Ritter is going to try and catch up really quick. Yeah, she hasn't gone off too far ahead. She just kind of started walking. She's kind of numb right now. Uh, kind of placing a hand on, like, gently on uh, the left shoulder. Hi, Ritter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to start for you, darling. Now, um, this really isn't my place, you know, but, uh, if you're one for talking, I'm always in here. At this point, uh, I thank you, Rena Ray. And you'll probably see that Lee is kind of like wiping away tears. It's it is hard to put things into words right now, um, but. Um, if you would be willing, I would like to take you up on that offer of stargazing tonight. I think I'll be ready to talk then. That sounds wonderful. All right. And as I walk away, there is just a tiny little splotch on her shoulder. (laughs) Just a little... Just a little tiny bit of sap. <laughs> Lee Fair enough. Probably doesn't even notice. <laughs> I'd say so, no. She doesn't. Um, so you guys head back. Uh, when you guys start passing the inn. Um, I'll tie up Penelope in the cart. Feet Penelope. Um, Ismark will uh, be like, uh, he'll, he'll head in. And he'll uh, have a short conversation with... Uh, the innkeeper, bartender, um, and he'll uh, he'll actually uh, turn to you and be like, "I must head now. Um, I'm going to be at home if you need me, but please see me tomorrow before you leave." Um, I believe Irina wants to uh, spend the night here with you, getting to know you, but uh, I need some time. Um, of course, and at this point, Lee will actually speak to his mark, and of course, um, I am very sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank you very much. With that, he'll, uh, he'll turn around and go. <laughs> he'll head out. 
<laughs> Seems like he was going to make a joke of some sort of very Ismarkian thing, but doesn't have the energy for it. It's a rough day. Yeah. That's that, rough that's day. fair. What's <sighs> the plan now? Well, um... Suppose we get to know our new companion. Agreed, right. but if we're going to leave in the morning, I would like to get what provisions we can so that way we can leave at first light. So, unfortunately, that means going back to the mercantile. Does anyone wish to come with me? I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I am up to the task of dealing with him. I'll tag along. Darling. I do need to pick up some oil. If he if he sells such a thing and doesn't pompously uh, oversell it, maybe oh. map lay of the land. Well, the rest of the stuff he sold was pretty cheap. You know, the rain voider that was a steal. Lee's gonna shake her head and just kind of pat Purcine on the shoulder. <laughs> you, know, you know what I say for the rest of today? When you see something like that, say nothing and drink to forget. I am in agreement with that. Yeah, I feel like shit. I'd like a drink, please. <laughs> Oh, damn! Alright. Hey, thank you for the subscription, uh, Kamikaze Worm. We appreciate it so much. That's my wife Welcome to the down. Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Alright. So. <laughs> off to see what's-his-face. The wizard? The wizard? I was, yeah, <laughs> the wizard in my head. Okay. Um, coming up, uh, you see Builders the Mercantile. I mean, same where it was, open as it can be, you know? You can see the light pouring out. I'm sorry, are we all going? Who's going? Those who uh, want to go can go. Okay, so we're splitting the party? Yes. Seems that way. <laughs> pretty, pretty much in half at this point. Yep. Alright, who's staying, who's going? I think the Halfling Sisters and myself are still at the end. Yeah, I would like to stay. Yeah, same. <laughs> I mean, sure? Are you sure, Cassie, you don't want to come? I mean, I do, but I feel like shit. I feel like I was two level, three levels ago. <laughs> Fair enough. Alrighty, so, as you enter Bil Mercantile, you mean, there he is again behind the counter with his big Cheshire grin. Welcome, you're back! <laughs> I knew you wanted to survive. Yes, we do. That's, that's dark. <laughs> <laughs> Lee is having none of this, just like deadpan. Like she's in no fit state to be dealing with this guy, but she's doing it anyway. Uh, we have need of an, a map. I am in need of some more rope. We are going to need in. We are in need of provisions enough to last. Uh, how many days away is the town of Balaki? How many days away is the town of Balaki? Yes. Oh, that's probably good. Mm. Probably good 11 day march for sure. I don't think we have right. rations for that. Rolling well, we will need the trash. rations. We will need the, ra the rations for six people for an 11 day march. Uh, seven um, people, actually. Seven. Yes. I'm going to see if I'm going to see if I believe if this guy is is Thank true you. on the 11. He's very believable. I heard I heard one thing last time and I'm already not trusting any of it. How's that inside check? Uh thank you, thank you, plus five. Uh that's twenty-three. Hot oh, damn! No. He has no idea. <clears throat> well, perhaps once we have that map we can figure out how far that is ourselves then, hmm? Uh, oh, of yes, course, great. yes. Map, I mean please. I don't travel much, but that's my assumption based on my my costs for shipping. Um, map, of course. Gonna map right here. It's gonna run you probably about 10 gold. <coughs> mm, I feel like you might be able to do a little better than that, friend. All right. Return customers. I'd give you a discount. That's nine gold, nine silver. Mm. 
See, our friends spent a lot of money in here before, and I'd love to just be on good terms with you. I don't see them. Mm, I believe right you walked out pretty quick without buying anything. At this oh, point, look, these... I did, but my friends are actually kept alive by what you gave them. Oh, I bought a lot of stuff. I'm just, oh, you know, I'm just here on their behalf. They're taking a little bit of a rest right now, but uh, you know, celebrating their their victory. What with your gear and all, I think you can do much better. Let's say point... maybe three gold. And at this point, Lee has been kind of looking down. She's just going to look up at this guy, and she's just got, she's got the thousand yard stare. She has seen some <laughs> shit. I'm uh, using that. <laughs> Please. Three gold I can't do. That'd be ridiculous. But sure. I'll tell you what. Seven gold for the map. Very well. And Lee will hand over seven gold. All right. At, as he this, he slides it over. He go to grab it. He kind of lets. He doesn't let go of it. He goes. All right. I'm sorry. This one was gonna be me being a little shitty. What map do you want? Barovia, please. A current map of Barovia. Well, all right. He puts the one down. Grabs you with the other map. Puts it down. Seven gold. Okay. Thank that you. That's fair. What other maps do you have? Oh, well, this one's of the. This one here is of the town. Oh. Would that be any use to us? It could be, but not for the time being. You guys really got to watch what you ask for. <laughs> <laughs> that's entirely fair. Yeah. Uh, at this point, Lee is going to open up the map. She's going to start pouring over and trying to figure out just about how many days of marching it's going to be. Do you want me to put the map in the chat now? You can have the map now. Cool. What would that be? Uh, what sort of roll would that be? For what? I need to roll. Uh, to see yeah, yeah roll it. Days. Let me figure out how long. Okay. Ooh, ah. Uh... Well, that's a 19 on the die, and I'm not sure what modifier you want. No, no, you're okay. okay. Um, so, looking at it, the rough amount, you'd say it's probably a good five or six day trip, depending on how well you guys push. Um, what could be, could be up to eight if you guys hit some detours or some um, unforeseen stuff. You would say eight or nine days of food would probably be what you you as a traveler would be comfortable as um because you don't know what hunting would be like in barovia yeah yeah she can try but she's, she's but not, you don't no you don't know the area there. enough to guarantee that there's food to be especially hearing is mark talk about a food store shortage yeah all right um All right. Uh, how about all right? So we're gonna need ten days of rations for seven people. And at this point, I think uh, Lee's gonna look at Rain Ray significantly. Um, how much will that be? All right. And he sits down. He pulls up, like literally an abacus. He's um, well. What I'm looking at here. Rations, that is not including water. I don't have water for it. Yeah, you have to figure that out yourself. I don't have packaged water. Um, that is fine. Uh, that's going to be... Uh, 60 gold. I can help pay for some of that. Very well. 30 each then, Fjordstein? Yeah. Uh... Here, why don't we oh. split that three ways? That sounds good. What? Another campaign where I don't have to buy food and shit? <laughs> <laughs> you wasted all your gold at the mercantile the previous day. I saw day. plenty, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt, it hurt. 
<laughs> spent two and a half years not spending a coin. I know. <laughs> hmm. Oh, so Leah's gonna take out of her pack um, the chain shirt and that fancy long sword she picked up in the death house and say, uh, I would like to sell these. What would they, what would they go for? Sorry, it was the long sword and the what, sorry? The long sword and the chain shirt. Chain shirt, okay. That fancy silver long sword? No, 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 no. the fancy, the fancy, sword. I have the silver short sword, I'm keeping that. It's the fancy sword from the mantelpiece in the house. The one of course, that yeah. pulled out in a fit of rage. So, he'll offer you five gold for the, sh the sword. Okay. I and the for the chain, the chain shirt, he'll offer you fifteen. Okay. That. Yeah. So five G for the sword. Okay. Fifteen G for the shirt. Um. Also, I'm gonna need a couple lengths, uh, fifty foot lengths of hemp and rope. Um. Twenty crossbow bolts. Twenty one, arrows. Sorry, one second. Hemp and rope, you said? How much? Yes. Uh, 50 feet of it. 50 feet? Uh, two, just one or two? Two of them. Two of them? Uh, so the 10 gold each. Okay. Well, then in that case, she's going to trade the shirt and the sword for the rope. And and finally, uh, 20 crossbow bolts and 20 arrows if you have them. Um... So, 20 of each, you said? Yes, please. Another 10 gold each. Okay. And she'll hand that over without a fuss. Uh, are there any provisions either of you two need? Um, I'm looking for some oil for lanterns. Alright, uh... Yeah... A gold. Take a couple. Each one. I don't know how much you want. Uh, let's go like three. I don't know how long okay. oil lasts. So yeah, you got uh, three flasks of oil. Sweet. I can see in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> and Rain Array, anything for you? Uh, I can make whatever I need, friend. All right. Well. Thank you, sir, for the map and these and the supplies. That's what I do, you know. Hoping to see you guys back again. You guys, hopefully, we'll make it. I think we're his first repeat customers. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, they they came back. <laughs> they did. <laughs> At this point, with the map and whatnot, I think we just might be able to. Well, you never know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's hoping we can see you once again. Hey. Right. That's for time to tell, right? Agreed. Agreed. Good day to you. And I'm gone. Good day. Yep. Good day. Good day. Good day. Please head out. I'm head out to you. Stay happy, my good man. Oh, I will. <laughs> I like to imagine him just weeping his eyes every time there's no customers in the shops. Like, why am I here? I'm so low. <laughs> I keep ripping off people. Why don't they stay? Do you guys want to make a perception check, everyone who's there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what's my perception? This might be good. <laughs> So um, it bounced out of my tr tray, and I'm going to post a 15. picture in the chat. Because <laughs> you're not going to fucking believe this. 15. What was uh, yours, Blake? Oh, uh, that is 20 total. Fair enough. <laughs> Nat 20. Nat 20? Uh, as you were back there, you could hear uh, you could hear someone in the back room talking. Can I hear what they're saying? Yeah, with the Nat 20, I'll give it to you. Just to, they're kind of talking to themselves, right? Move, move the box over here. Gotta get this box over here. I'm, I'm personally going to ignore it. I'm. 
at least paranoid, but she's not that paranoid. It's clearly just a like the work uh, some his employee stalking. You mean his zombie? Well, you gotta remember that the uh, the barkeep that too. Oh, so you think they're all just dead inside? Yeah. <laughs> Look Maybe where they like live. You. Like Hey! Should we talk whoa, about Whoa, 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 man! You've had most of your life sucked out of you. You're dead inside. So. <laughs> True. Uh, with your shopping trip done, you guys assume I'm heading back to... Uh, to the tavern to regroup. To the tavern. You find the rest of your group. I'm assuming you guys got into the libations. Hmm. A little yeah. less than last time, to be honest. <laughs> Um, as you guys enter, and you guys have been there, you've seen um, the same three Vistani are sitting off to the corner. They're wearing bright red clo- clothes. They stand out very... Um, yeah, and there's a few other people uh, People who have been sitting there for a bit. You've, you've seen one guy come in with a very blank look on his face. He came in, the bartender gave him a drink, and he sat down just looking forward this entire time. Oh, no. I'm turning into one of them. <laughs> oh, no. I can feel it. <laughs> Luna, does it look that bad? Can you, can yes. you see all the teeth marks? <laughs> yes. Does it look cool like a battle wound? Mm, yes. No, the hesitation. <laughs> I don't want to die from this. You're not going to die. Uh, can I roll a check just from my monster hunting background, uh, whether or not I know whether or not a bite from a uh, vampire spawn will kill? Yeah, go for it. What would that be? History? Nature? I get history. History? Okay. Uh, so that's 17. It won't kill her. Uh, yeah. if, if it would have killed her, she would be dead by now. Would have yeah. been dead from the bite. Um, Mira, you're fine. If it was gonna kill you, you'd be dead by now. Oh, I like how you waited until now to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have told me what I keeled over like an hour ago? Or to be Maybe fair, I had know. a little bit on my mind. I mean, Sorry. do you see this? This should be on your mind. Do you not think I have issues, too? I'm going around hugging people now. I, I'm all emotional. I don't know what's happening. She's basically yeah. broken. Oh, no! I guess yeah. we will go over and just kind of not so much hug, but like, go for hug and just pat her on the head. I think I'm gonna get drunk and just go to bed, please. <laughs> <laughs> That is what I heard an old soldier reference once. For every dram of blood you lost, a good cup of strong wine is supposed to set you right. <laughs> I'll start banging on the table. More! More alcohol! Uh, um, do the Vestani over in the... Like, there's a the group of them, right? Mm-hmm. Do they look like the rest of the people? Like, clocked out? No. They are actually sitting around there. They're actually three female. Uh, they're, they're all... Th- Three are female, and they're sitting around. They're just talking by the fire. And they're laughing, and <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh God, they're witches. I feel witches. more and more they're outnumbered witches. everywhere I go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then I said, "I said, you won't believe what I said." And I said this. <laughs> so I see this, and I look around, and the rest of the bar is just—they're very much like, yeah, just like, kind of, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go up to the Vistani. Of course. Yeah. Men don't do well here. Of course, yes. <laughs> uh, you walk up, they continue their conversation. They get die, get turned into vampire spawn, and <laughs> themselves. Yes. Hey, we buried still. three men today. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, we kind of did. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bad odds. Eventually, they'll look over you and be like, um, can we help you, darling? Yeah, I just wanted to come over and <laughs> and say what a what a happy jovial bunch of people you uh, you looked like. Thank you, thank you, oh, thank you. My goodness. Well, you know this drab place here. <laughs> have you have you been here for long? We own the place. You own this place. <laughs> of oh. course. 
So you've been in Barovia for a long time, then? Well, we come and go as we please. We come and go. You don't stay here, then? <laughs> well, we, we tend to. We own the place, make people pay their bills, right? But, mm -hmm. uh, no, we, uh, we take our time and we leave and come as we go. As we please. As we please. <laughs> as we please. <laughs> as we please. Um, I... I happen to notice a lot of the townspeople seem to be just blank slates. They just seem to be oh going through the motions. You mean, you mean the soulless ones? They're soulless? <laughs> yes. What does that mean? Well, it means that souls can't leave Barovia, and there's not enough to go around. This is the first time I'm hearing of this. <laughs> uh, you've been here long. We've been Four. here for, what, a couple of days now? I will point out, by the way, because mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm role-playing this well enough, all three of them are answering your questions. They just sound exactly the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did they all look the same? Nope. Uh, this ain't no so they're all, like, list. speaking in unison, right? No. Like, they're they're individually answering Oh, uh, okay, 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 <laughs> okay, okay. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't, you know, the creep factor didn't turn up when I approached no, no. these people. I think we have a cult on our hands, folks. <laughs> yeah. Bitches! <laughs> so, do people lose their souls if they hang around here for too long, or...? No. Oh. They're born without them. I'm just getting more and more questions the longer I talk to these people. So they're born without... Listen, I can explain this quite well to you. Oh, please, please do. And she looks over and goes, <clears throat> Eric, bring us a few cups, please. Bring us ten more empty cups. And he'll bring over, uh, over the next few minutes, ten cups. And, and she's there and she grabs a bottle of wine and pours the wine into one. Now see this. This is Barovia. She pushes all the empty cups to the side. When Barovia was founded and became what Barovia is, isolated, these are the, this is the souls that were here. And she puts the one glass down that's full. Eventually, people had children. She pulls two glasses out. <clears throat> and she pours a bit in. They have souls, because souls were around. Now, this person dies... Then their soul goes to this cup. But eventually you have more kids and more kids. There's not enough souls to go around. Hmm. Unaware that souls could work like that. So eventually you end up with this. And she just puts down an empty cup. It's there. It functions. But, uh... <laughs> what's the point? And that's how we get the. <laughs> this shit's messed up. Is, is this loud enough for the rest of us to hear? Yeah, does Lee hear this? They're not quiet about it, but like they are on the other side of the bar. Mm. You know, roll perception. If you guys get over 15, then you hear it. There's a 19 on the die. Natural uh, 20. 20. Wow. 15. That's with, unfortunate. My with my perception, that's a 17, so I hear it. And everyone hears it? Okay, oh. cool. In hearing that, Greenery downs the rest of her drink <laughs> in one go and orders another. <laughs> and mm -hmm. in the exact opposite response, Sankla stops drinking and pushes his away. <laughs> <laughs> of course. He's just kind of uh, sipping her wine. So, where... S oh, sorry, you go. No, of course, please. Where are the people with the souls? Well, they're all around here. I, Eric has a soul. Which one's Eric again? Uh, the, bartender. Bartender? Oh, the bartender. Bartender? Bartender. He doesn't look very soulful. Well, he's a... He's just a very boring man. <laughs> as you see, he's like cleaning glasses. You guys are watching as he goes. He goes down the line cleaning all his glasses. And then he starts at the next one, starts cleaning. Like, he, he continues down the line and then just goes back with the first one. Bit of a bore. But you, 
Are, are you new in Barovia here? Yeah? All these questions. Yes, we arrived uh, several days ago. Ah. Well, welcome. I mean, it's a lovely place, really. Um, Quite. You know. But uh, if you've only been here for a while, you should uh, you should find your way to meet Madame Eva. Madam Eva? Yes, everyone should meet Av Madam Eva. She's, uh, she's one of the leaders of our, uh, little community of Vistani. Where can we find her? What can she do for us? Well, she can give you answers you seek, of course. <laughs> you have a name like Madam Eva without having some powers, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I suppose. I suppose uh, so. You Potentially we'll find her. We all move around quite a bit, you know. We can't stand in one place. Uh, <laughs> believe she's in Barovia at the moment. Uh, my best would be to check, see if you can uh, make it to Tisser Pool. Tisser Pool? Yes. <laughs> she's the like she likes to hang out. Okay. I'll uh, talk to my companions about it. Of course, of course. And what is what is your name, young lady? I'm so sorry. My name is Fjorstein. It's a pleasure to meet you three. Oh, it's been just a dish. Eric, <laughs> Eric. Um, our best wine from... Yes, yes. It's a good wine. Give to this young lady here. <laughs> Thank you. What were your names? Of course. I didn't ask that. How rude of me. Oh, <laughs> we were rude in, in ourselves, so no, nothing harmed. Nothing harmed. Uh, well, <laughs> let me just find where my name is. <laughs> well, I must have lost it under all these glasses of wine. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness. <laughs> let me check my underwear. <laughs> I, of course, am Alinka. And I, of course, am Maribel. And I, of course, am... Sarova. Sarova. Sarova, yes. <laughs> I'm the smart names. one. You're the smart one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for all the information. Of course. If you need anything else, find someone else. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> 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 we just, we just a bit. I think that means you're on stage. You're welcome. I'm leaving. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm going to take my fancy wine and just sip it while yeah. I walk back to my. Of course. Uh, make a reception check. Uh, uh, Gay die. Where are you? <laughs> this is an important check. Perception, you say? Yes. The gay die never fails. Perception, fail. you say? <laughs> the gay die never fails. Uh, that's an 18. 18? And perfect to use this die for it, because she goes, hmm, and quite the ass on her. <laughs> you hear them say as you leave. <laughs> I look at my butt. Wow. Look at my butt. <laughs> you hear a, maybe, maybe this is how they solve their problems of having babies and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they just have all females and gay. <laughs> oh, that's a strong with that one. <laughs> all right, I will, uh, yeah, I'll get back to the table and I'll relay all If you're ones. wondering why I'm so good at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I am super sassy. He's fabulous. We can tell. It's actually quite true. It's exhausting. <laughs> Could I tell which one of the ladies said that to me? Shop yes, it was uh, Maribel. <laughs> Good. We'll put a star beside her. Yeah, yeah. a big star. So, a rainbow as you fact. guys, as you come back, if you're, if you're seen using the, the perception from before, you look over and you see that Irina does not look happy right now. You okay, Irina? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just uh, the Vistani are... Uh, an interesting group. How so? Interesting how. In some ways, they uh, they work for Strahd, but in other ways, they don't. Their their allegiances aren't really seen. 
Uh, Strahd allows them to leave Barovia. I was under the impression that that was not possible. Not possible for anyone but the Vistani. Hmm. This is how we've gotten our... Uh, so you see, they are... We, we have a hard time trusting the Vistani for their trust... for Strahd trusts them. Yeah, um, but they do do a lot for our community, bringing in food and medicine when needed. Mm. I, uh... I should not stay. You should avoid the Fizani. It'd be impossible, and they could help you in being here. Mm. But... Be wary of the Vistani. Oh, keep that in mind. Thank you for the warning. Hmm. Hmm. So, hmm. learn anything interesting, Fjordstein? Um, I learned that we should go talk to a uh, Madame Eva over on Tracer Pool. Tracer Pool? How do you pronounce that? Tesser Pool. Tesser Pool. Um, All right, at this point, Lee will take out the map and she'll try and look for it. Okay, so looking at it, uh, you do see that as you are leaving um, the village, you'll be faced with a eventually a splitting. Mm -hmm. One of them heads up into a more of a dirt path, but it leads right uh, along the pool. And the other one is a, more of a uh, made road that will take you a little bit longer of a trip, but it will... Uh, It'll take you around. Hmm. And looking at the map, I can see that it's... We go through quite a bit of forest. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that footpath is much shorter. Okay. Down for the, uh, for the shorter path. Um, um, wait a second. Yes. Does, does that say Luna River and Luna Lake? Yeah. <gasps> Why, yes, it does. I have a river and a lake. So, um, what's the land around there? Uh, Hi. looks like that is towards the Svalich Woods. Um, unfortunately, that is not where we're headed just yet. We wanted to head to Valaki first, and that's towards... I'm just towards... saying a lot of that land there doesn't look like it really has a name. Perhaps um, we call it the Mira Flatlands. Thank you. That's exactly so, what I was thinking. I'm not 100% sure if, uh... Yeah, Ashton's map doesn't 100% show it. Um, mm -hmm. Everything that's around that area is Mount uh, is the mountain. All right, it's Mount, Mount Mira. Mount Gakis. Yeah, Mira Mount Gakis. Mountain. Okay. Can you offer it up to Athena and call it after Athena? Are you gonna give up your lake as well? I didn't name it. Oh, is that how it is? <clears throat> the young one makes a good Isn't point. How it is? Maybe we should change it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's yours to change. Not exactly. I, I mean, we're going to change Barovia for the better and get rid of Strahd, and that will make us the leaders. So any... I think we could change it. So if it's any consolation, Mira, I'm fairly certain it, that Luna Lake is more likely named after the celestial body than your sister. Um, my sister is Celestial, thank you very much. Yeah. How dare you? Uh, well, I suppose you've got me there. <laughs> uh, Lena's gonna walk over to the bar and just go, I'd like, um, a jar of pickles, please. He looks around. Reaches down underneath. Puts out a jar of pickles. Oh, those are probably <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Luna's going to slowly take out all the pickles and just put them on the counter. <laughs> okay. So as you go to open the jar... <laughs> the pickle jar is stuck. Uh, and also Wait. there's a good thick level of layer of dust. Hey, can you open this pickle jar for me? What? What are you talking about? I've got muscle... Yes, but you're. What? You're being salty. 
Oh, are you asking Lee? Yeah, Why Lee over this. Why is he so mean to me? I mean, bring it over here and we'll see if I can't Because you're me. tired. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm Lee so will try tired. to... Roll a strength check? Yep. Oh. Uh, that's a five on the die plus uh, two. So that's seven. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I take it back. <laughs> it's, it's a jar of pickles. Yeah, Keep it here. Oh How bad no, can it be? I'm doing it. My turn next. <laughs> no, no, no. Before that, I think Lee is gonna kind of choke on her wine a bit and then hand it over to uh, Rain Ray. Here you go. Okay, make a strength check. I would like to try and steal it. <laughs> no, That's no. Let's watch Rain Ray try to open it. This can be fun. Okay, fine. Right. Strength, strength check. check? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yay. There, there, Lee. The jars bested all of us at one point or another. Yeah, um, I'm not super concerned. So, <laughs> that's a 16 total. <laughs> <laughs> because I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> that's right, yeah. Pop. Like, it was nothing. Like, it barely was there. There you go. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Riri. How of unexpected. I... Of course, darling. Okay, now I take out all the pickles and put them on the table one at a time. Oh, and then I take the wolf ear out of my backpack and I put it in the pickle Okay, there. so you go to reach in. Uh, oh. I just got to grab the wolf ear and as you open oh, the bag, oh, just gross. make a constitution check. Oh god. Save. Oh, save. Uh, is that just like... <clears throat> you probably 17? Don't have, no. 17? So you kind of like, you hold back, you don't vomit, but yeah, it's... It's squishy. Um, oh, gods. Luna. I forgot you had that. Um, leave. Oh, gods. Um, put it in the pickle jar and then close it up and put it back in my bag. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you have mm -hmm. some wolf goo in your hand. Yeah, well. And there's pickles. Yeah. I will, I will eat pickles. I will eat a pickle. <laughs> Constitution saves. <laughs> really? They're old. They're pickles. They're pickles. And the jar has been opened. Ooh, and that's so good. Just uh roll yeah. the dice. <laughs> they are squishy. Nineteen. Nineteen? <laughs> You're fine. Ten! A stomach of steel. Oh god. Maybe you should have eaten the pickles. <laughs> They're pickles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mira was poisoned, I mean, dies instantly. How more sick can I get? Let's test it. You're fine. It. <laughs> um, it was more of a fact if you guys rolled really low. Um, yeah, so the night goes on. I don't know if you guys want to do anything um, else. Can I talk to Irina for just one second? Of I course. Thought. Has anybody else tried to leave Barovia? And if so, what happened? I, there was all that fog, and I was a little too worried to enter it. Venturing into the into the mists, uh, from what I've heard from other people, have tried. Some people just disappear into the mist and never heard from again. Um, but uh, others who actually made it back, just just in time, say that their strength was. Stolen from them. They became exhausted and tired at a ridiculous rate. Finding it harder to move, breathe, everything. All right. One, one person oh. came crawling out of the mist, half dead. Is this Irina? Yes. Yeah. Talking? Yes. I have to put a little bit more uh, soprano. <laughs> A falsetto. A little Whatever. bit more Alto? Alto, yes. Irina, have you... Um, do you know anything about Gertrude? Gertrude, I'm sorry. I do not know, do not know this name. Or oh. her mother, Mary. Oh, Mad Mary. Mad Mary? Yes. She's the one that's uh, usually crying in town in the last few weeks. Yes, we it's kind uh, of seemed like a little bit of a uh, bit of an eccentric. Uh, eccentric? How? What? Just she shut stays in her house, and... shut in. Yes. Hmm. Doesn't talk to many people. 
kids upset when anyone gets near her house. Have you heard anything of her having a daughter? I believe so, but, uh, might have heard something, but, uh, never known I've ever seen, or, uh, Mm. She did seem rather protective of her. Yeah. Yeah, it does stand reason that Pia would know about her daughter. Well, that's just one more person to keep an eye out for while during our travels. Because unfortunately, judging by this, not many people would have seen or heard of this girl. It's unlikely they even know she exists. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Does she, uh... Is she one of the soulless? Honestly, I don't know. We couldn't get much out of Mary other than her daughter was missing. Um, and she couldn't figure out which way she may have gone and that she didn't have any people in town she would have gone to talk to. Of course. So She did say that her daughter was a remarkable beauty, but isn't that the attitude of all mothers? I don't know. Yeah. Right. Sorry. I... It's okay. You're on a roll, we. Charisma of negative one. Or, sorry, charisma of nine. But, yeah. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> yeah. Foot in mouth. Chronically. <laughs> negative one charisma and is always the one talking. I don't <laughs> like it. I know. What the fuck? <laughs> it's because you're so emotional. You're always so invested. As you guys have been talking to her, you do see she has out on the table her this metal instrument that she uses, and she's pulling parts off and cleaning them off and putting them back together. I would like to know where... I mean, A, where did you acquire such a device? <gasps> we're talking um, about the gun. And, yes, we're talking about the gun. <laughs> uh, and B, how did you learn to utilize it in such an effective manner? Um, well, uh, I do not, most of the town does not know this, but, uh, I, uh, I'm very smart. The town doesn't know that you're smart? No. On a scale of 1 to 20. They have a hard... Out of 15. Ah. Wasn't ready for that. Right. Average. Uh, but I have built this. At least that's smart. It mm-hmm. is of my own design. My goodness. I assume it took uh, many rare and hard to find parts. Um, most of these materials. I don't know. I've never. I've, seen any device quite like this. The only thing I that's even remotely of, uh... comparable is a hand crossbow, but even that is a child's toy in comparison to what you have. I heard of uh, in, uh, a mineral, and I found a large amount of it. Uh, it's the of younger age. Um, and I found that it had uh, exclusive Explosive properties. Hmm. Uh, uh, I took the, my time to refine it, and uh, well, this utilizes it in controlled bursts and allows me to propel pieces of metal at high velocity. Hmm. Uh, velocity is like speed. Yeah, um, I and yes, I use um, a crossbow. I think I have um, an idea of what you're getting at there. From there, I trained myself in how to defend myself. Was this when Strahd started coming? No, I've been working on this for years. Oh. Since I was quite young. When you're left to your own devices, I suppose you let your mind grow? Yes. Yeah, my brother and I uh, 
spent our time learning about the forest we lived in, and you spent your time developing these incredible weapons. Yes. Incredible. Yeah. I do what I can. <laughs> Could I maybe one day use that thing one day? Just out of curiosity. Um, one day, yes. Uh, well, we're traveling, potentially. That would make me very happy. Of course. <laughs> well, since you're with our group... Um, yes, I... Thank you, um... This, some of them that came through always had interesting names. What is your group's name? Um, Athena's Angels. <laughs> uh, we're. I'm. Hmm. We hadn't really. We, we hadn't really talked about that kind that. of thing. We've I not mean... exactly decided. <laughs> Work in progress. <laughs> We've only known each other for what, like a week now? Whereabouts? Of course. Um, but bombs maybe... forged in the fires of battle can be the strongest. Yes, yes, I've heard this. You should think about it. Uh... It does look like we're going to be traveling quite a lot together. Well, it's not as though we can leave Barovia, and, well, we've all proven one another is capable. Aye, well, for us work, I realize that... I haven't even introduced myself. I am Lee Shanadel, at your service. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fjorstein. Hi. Fjorstein. Hello. Oh, we're doing this. Hi, I'm Lena. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Luna, I know. <laughs> I'm Mira. And, uh, Mira and Sankla and Rinare. Thank you for uh, everything you're doing to help me. You're more than welcome. Thank you. I, uh, I believe uh, the hour is getting later, Ben. And I'm going to excuse myself to bed. I've already bought the biggest room. She can't have it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Jesus, you're steep. Her brother well, bought actually, the yeah, uh, her brother, brother bought the rooms for tonight. <laughs> did he, though? He forgot last time. Yes. No, he did. <laughs> he walked in and actually talked to the innkeeper this time. Oh. But, uh, but before she goes, just remember, we're all here if you need us. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. And she'll head upstairs to her room. All right. Hmm. Well. Hmm. I suppose I shall retire for the evening and she'll give Reen Ray a significant look before heading upstairs. Do we catch that? <laughs> yeah, do we? Do I have to roll deception or whatever? I missed the 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 comment. My apologies. Oh, I said well, I shall head up as well, and uh, Lee's going to give Rena Ray a significant look, and they're asking if they caught it. Did they catch it? I mean, I guess... Did you Lee... let them catch it? Is this being sly? Is this being... Uh, I... No, I think Lee's beyond trying to hide anything. Okay. Ooh. So. <gasps> She's just too weary. Alright. So now you all uh, catch it. You mean... Can I please run after Lee? <laughs> Don't! No, don't ruin it! I don't ruin anything! I mean, I haven't even gotten up yet. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So, yeah. Lee? Uh, yes, Mira? Um, I wanted to catch you before... Um... Well, <laughs> before you, uh, whatever you were doing tonight. Um... Oh, uh, mentioned... Reen and I were gonna go stargazing for a bit. <laughs> Oh, that's Wink. why. Pretty. Um, you mentioned your brother back at the table. 
and you don't really talk about that much. You know, we've been together quite a lot, and I talk about my sister a lot. <laughs> I know. So if you ever want to talk about your brother, I'll I... be willing to listen. I appreciate your concern and interest, but, I mean, you talk about your sister a lot because she's still alive. And Lee's gonna leave it at that. Cold. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at Luna like, I do ruin something. Um, <laughs> after, after after about a minute or so, Renere goes to finish her drink and just ah, not tonight, not tonight, and sets down and heads upstairs. Of course. I would like to sit beside my sister and like grab her hands. I would always talk about you, always. <laughs> Thank you. I was pickles. I. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> what time at night the, the ghosts were yesterday right yep um what time at night was that around uh, just Wasn't after midnight just after yeah. midnight and what time is it now you guys it's still pretty early-ish I mean you guys have been sitting talking for a bit but uh Irina excused herself probably around six thirty, seven o'clock oh mm. Okay. Why, you, mean, you want you want to go parading? I just want to know where they were coming from. Oh. So I might head out to the side of town where we saw them coming from and just see if they show up again tonight. Of course. Okay, so leaving the tavern this time. Hi. Wait, are we going with you? If you want we? to come. Or is this like a stargazing thing? I'm not stargazing Are you anybody. Stargazing. 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 That's just going to be it from now on. He's just stargazing. <gasps> but if you were to go stargazing, who would you want to be with? <laughs> not answering that right now. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. For now. Okay. For now. Forever. So, we're going to take this bit by bit. Who's going following Fjordstein? Want to go? Think... Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we'll go. Yeah. Okay. I love parades. Okay. Even though I'm half dead inside, I and feel And they're all so like shiny. Okay. So you guys head up um, the way that you know they came, and you actually find yourself back uh, at the church. Oh. Okay. He did mention that. Yeah, Don they did. Did they? Donovich. Donovich. Oh, okay. Well, just hang around the church. And okay. Comes You'll be there for a bit. Um, Sankla, what are you doing? Grace. Um, yeah. after everyone else leaves, he'd probably spend a little time finishing the glass of wine he pushed away earlier. And okay. retire Wait, early. He... Are you alone? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> leave, you gotta uh... wink at more people. <laughs> He leave Lee and uh, go to, to, her, <laughs> to their discussion, and he'd retire early. Okay, so you head to bed. Mm -hmm. And that um, was the last time we saw him. <laughs> Straw <Strata -tank. laughs> He is a guy, so it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, now we'll head to Rinneray and Lee. Um, the night is starting to fall. Um, the stars come out. And the clouds, as the night starts to fall, the clouds do part, and you do start to see a a sky. All right. Now, you see the stars up there. Um, it, it'd be right around the time that we start to actually see them that I'll all knock on uh, Lee's door. Yeah. Okay. So Lee, you hear a knock at the door. All right. She uh, gets up and goes to the door. It's, oh, it's a uh, time then. All right. Um, hmm. Now we'll say the bar manager was a little displeased at the little ones trying to open the door late at night. So, uh, 
what I shall do is I'm going to tie up a rope, send it out my window. I'm not going to go down the rope, um, but I will creep us downstairs. Uh, actually, hmm, no, actually, rather than that, you head out the front door. I'll go out the window. Um, that way, one of us can get back in and unlock the door for the other afterward. Whatever you need to do, Darren. We'll figure this out. <laughs> yeah. This is a lot of work you're going through. <laughs> well, I mean, Arky right. locked the bloody door every night. And don't intend to leave Rain Ray out in the cold all bloody night. So. Oh. Alright, so I'll head down then. Is the door is the door locked yet? Uh, yes. Oh no, sorry, sorry. He looks at 11. It's not locked yet. Okay. So this is there. probably around, this is probably around 10... 30 o'clock. Okay. 30 o'clock. 10 30 at night. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll quickly uh, slip out the front then. Okay. Alright, we will go down the rope. Okay. Um, right. Athletics? So acrobat athletics. Okay. That's a 13 on the die plus 4. 17. You get down. Yeah. Okay. You guys are outside. Alright, um... Well... Really not sure what the best spot would be, so... Um, having having looked around a little bit when we first got here, would there be any, like, hills in the area? So, looking around, you guys, as you're looking around, you... You look up. You realize this town doesn't shed much light. Mm. You guys can see the stars very well here. Alright, well, we will take off our potentially, and, oh. <laughs> potentially, if you wanted to guys, you guys think maybe even on top of the roof here, or you know, any place mm -hmm. you could really get a little higher up. Mm -hmm. Chapel being a choice, that is on a hill. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, hmm. roof of the chapel might be a good spot. As long as you're willing to go back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, then. Yeah, it's hard, but yeah. So All you right. guys start heading up that way. Um, luckily, as you do, you can see in the dark. You make your way. As you get closer up, uh, you start seeing a few figures up uh, just uh, kind of around the church grounds. Uh, as you get closer, you slowly start to realize it's a tall humanoid figure with two smaller humanoid figures walking around with him. One is just a big mess of something on their head. <laughs> oh! Awkward. Um, hmm. Well, uh, we've seen them. They may not have seen us just yet. Perhaps we can pick <laughs> a different spot? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be for the best. Uh, oh, so right. the chapel's on a hill. We'll probably go... Mm, is there a fence around the property or something like that? Yep. Around the oh. church there is. Alright, so imagine we'll go just beyond the fence and just kind of sit on the hill there. Kind of out of, of sight off the main beaten track. Of course. So, you guys get there. Yeah, well... Roll nature checks for me, both of you. <laughs> All right, that is a 19 on the die. That's my nature. That's 21 total. Uh, for me, that is 24 total. Okay. Nice. Right. Druids, if I didn't pick nature, what would I be doing? <laughs> Amusingly enough, I am not proficient in nature. As you look up, you see the sky. It's quiet here, despite everything. But something's wrong. The stars are wrong. These are not the constellations that you know. Both of you have spent many time sleeping under these stars. Or under the stars. Mm -hmm. But these constellations match nothing that you know. Hmm. Well, this is... Odd, but I don't know. I guess maybe not all too surprising. I mean, we uh, 
We did get transported here through mystical means, and I've never heard of any country such as Barovia. It's not on any map I've ever seen back in the kingdom, or its outskirts. It's refreshing, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nice to not have the weight of the previous stories. We can... Hell, we can make up what we wish. <laughs> I think that could be fun. Hi. At this point, I think we're kind of sitting... I easily. call that one the Vampire Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, fitting. You hear behind you. Wait, what? Oh. There was actually someone talking? Lee is going to leap to her feet and whirl around. <laughs> Who do I see? You see a man you've seen before? Oh my god. That one is the wolf. I designed them. What do you think? They are... They are lovely. Hmm. I normally don't put them out on display. But when I know someone really, really wants to see them, I show them off. Well, thank you. No. Oh. I am, uh... It's my pleasure. I'm afraid you'd be happy at a bit of a disadvantage, sir. Oh, I'm so sorry. What? What is that? <laughs> I'm not certain I know your name. <laughs> oh. Or rather, I probably Lee do. Lee but... Shanadel. You know who I am. All right. Fair enough. I do. I would just like to hear it from your mouth, please. Well, of course. Strahd. Stranvad Zarevich. I'm, uh, lord of this land. So we've heard. Yes. Of course. Do you mean us harm this evening? I open up the skies for you. What harm could I mean? Well, I mean, that is a fair point, but... Lee, you're overthinking this right now. Let yourself open to the idea of beauty in the world that maybe you didn't expect. Me and you stand here with the striking beauty of, of her own. You know, Jester over at Renneray. <laughs> you have a fair point. But I I'm afraid it's a bit difficult to uh ease myself with your presence. Hmm. You, uh, because of your brother. Edge. I understand. I understand. You know, I lost my brother, too. Oh? Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, believe it or not, it was thousands of years ago. No, I, I think I can believe that. Pass. Hmm. How about you, Rinare? You have such a lovely voice, and yet you've said nothing. How are you this fine evening? I stand up, I turn around very slowly. He takes it in. I curse a few times in Infernal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, oh. that is one way for a lady to talk. <laughs> you learn a few things. You learn a few things when you grow up in the Underdark. <laughs> you learn a few languages when you've grown up, well, lived for as long as I have. That's entirely fair. It is... A pleasure to make your acquaintance, good sir. Thank you. He puts out his hand. I take it. 
He kisses you on the, the hand. Did your date just get crashed by straw? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd like to imagine, like, we're all just over on the church, just, like, playing, like, tag or something. <laughs> we're having joyous time. Yeah. We picked the right group. Yeah. Well, to answer your question, as I don't want to be rude, I've been having a lovely evening. It's, uh, interesting to have somebody else come into the equation. Hmm. I apologize. I feel like I might have disturbed something here. But I just wanted to meet you both. Of course, there's others I need to meet tonight, but... Or maybe another night. It is of my will to do as I choose. Well, clearly. Don't don't let us keep you if you've got more pressing matters. Oh. Thank you very much, Your, your manners are It's something that I don't see much anymore. Kind of fixes his jacket. His cloak kind of. Well. Enjoy your night, ladies. And you and as well. I hope the road ahead of you is safe. With that thing of mist just appears and floats off towards the chapel. Fjordstein, Luna, and Mira. What are you guys up to? Playing Apparently tag. playing tag? <laughs> I don't know. Of Blind in the dark. I'm going to be real yeah. with you guys. You guys can't see current. <laughs> I would have lit my lantern at this point. And I would have cast light on something. Okay. So you guys can see. I mean, you have a limited light range. Preferably not in the graveyard. Like, maybe on the other side. Is there room? Uh, uh, so at the front of the chapel? Yep. Uh, the graveyard's actually kind of around back. Oh, okay. Well, okay. We're around back. Okay. So you guys are sitting there, kind of joking around, laughing. Um, make perception checks. Baby. Four! I'm so blind! Nineteen. Uh, 20. <laughs> okay. Um, as you guys are joking around and stuff, all this, you'll eventually find your way over towards uh, where Donovich and Doru have been buried. And you see a man standing above the grave. That's not freaky at all. <laughs> I'm guessing um, I didn't see anything. I'm going to go up to the man. I'm sorry I missed that. What's by the grave? <laughs> uh, there's a man standing by uh, just over uh, Donovich's grave. Okay. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing out this hour? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? I asked first. As, you, as he does that, he puts his hand over and uh, your light slowly dims. Not not all the way, but you, it's, it's enough to cast like a dim rather than a bright light. I'm sorry. My eyesight is fine in the dark, but it's hard for me to see. Yes, but mine's not, and I would like that light, please. Well, oh. we talk. Maybe we, uh... Maybe we don't have the light for now. But it's dark out, and I don't like the dark. How much light does a bullseye lantern shoot out if it's pointing uh, towards us? Bright light. Bright light? Mm. Okay. Would that still so, be going, or would that be... No, he would have He would have dimmed both your lights. Okay. Actually, to the point of yours would be extinguished. Crap. <laughs> Just bought that oil. Did he introduce himself? Oh, right. Not yet. Hello, I'm Mira. <laughs> Hello. 
I just spat all over my computer. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay. No shaking hands? Um, maybe for now we shall. Stick with his pleasantries. I've only just met you here in the dark. Do you have a name? And Of course I have a name. Cool. Me too. <laughs> Did you want to play? Um, play what? Egg? Pig, yeah. Uh, I believe I'm okay right now. Do you want to play another game? <laughs> another game? What game would you have us play? How about you suggest something since you don't like anything we're talking about? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> How about... Hmm. Do you know any good riddles? No. <sighs> I like riddles. Hmm. I feel like we did not go to school for this. No, I'm, I'm very good at mischief, but uh, I feel like that's not something we should be getting into tonight, do you? Mischief. Meh. Um, <laughs> you don't, you shouldn't go around saying that to people in the graveyard. Eh? Mm, we don't yes. do that kind of thing here. Hmm. So you asked my name. You haven't given me yours. Oh, I said Mira, and then I gave you my hand, and then you rejected it. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Well. Yes, I'm... Mm. A name is such a powerful thing. He reaches out. Uh, just oh. hand out of the shadows. The Can name's... Get... Nope. He shakes your hand, <laughs> and let's go. My name's Finn. Finn? Finn! Was his hand cold or clammy or gross? It's a little clammy. He's a little bit nervous. Finn? Did you know Adaru and Donovich? Oh. Not personally, no. But I've heard stories of the foolish man who thought he could save his son. He was just trying his best. Yeah, I feel like that's not foolish oh. when you want to help someone. Especially <laughs> someone you love. I guess it's all perspective. Yeah. Do you usually spend your time in the graveyard? <laughs> <laughs> um, some nights, you may say. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> hmm. So you don't want to play? <laughs> so no. what do you do in the graveyard here? This was just an opportunity to... meet some people. Oh. That I'm curious about. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Is that us? <laughs> Two of you. The other one was a bonus. Who was the bonus? <laughs> Is it a good bonus? <laughs> yeah, who's the bonus? <laughs> You've all seen lovely. I don't feel like... Anything else? This moment has been perfect. Perfect moments are nice. <laughs> and rare. <you> angry. <laughs> well, this is the perfect moment, but this is not the moment. So. You, uh, you talk in riddles yourself. Why do you want riddles? <laughs> because I, I'm the one that always speaks in riddles. Sometimes it's fun to figure them out yourself. I don't like riddles. You can't punch them. Hmm. Exactly. 
Well, Luna, I don't I think hope I have you... much in common with this guy. That's fair. I hope you have a lovely night. Uh, oh, you don't want to spend any more time with us? I must go <laughs> now. But thank well, you we for can the hang time out more. <laughs> Little Luna. <laughs> um, she didn't give her name. Did she? No. Oh, did I? I don't know. I don't know either. She <laughs> didn't typically... have to. Okay. See, even have... people from here know you're named after a lake. Like, I'm not just... named after a lake. Okay. Lake named after something. Right. Uh, <laughs> while you guys are arguing about this, uh, he will turn and start walking away. Into the darkness, away from the town. You know, it's dark Hi. and probably scary out there. You sure you don't want to come back to the inn? We Straw's can out there! Listen to you here. I believe I'll be fine. And then you hear... <laughs> sound of wings beating against the... Like a bat? Can we Do see we realize it's... Realize it's what? Do we see him? Do we, nope. like, do we see that? He walked oh. into the darkness. He spoke to you outside of the darkness. Okay. <clears throat> well. And with that, your light almost blinds you as it comes back oh, into. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the creepiest thing I've ever seen. I don't know what is. I mean, we see parades of dead people at night. Yeah. And a guy just hanging out in the graveyard freaks you out. Maybe he was yeah, soulless. And as you speak of this, all of a sudden, from the the graves, these ghostly apparitions start Ooh. not crawling out, but like floating, almost like it's like a staircase underneath the ground as they start marching. Oh. Okay. Are, do they come out of the graves we just buried the day of? No. We buried three. Uh, they are... Not coming out of graves per se, but like out of the ground at random places. It seems almost in the middle of the the cemetery. Oh. So gl glowing green light starts to ah, to like suffuse the area. As you are able to see as these ghostly apparitions walk around the church and onto the street. Well, there you go. This is where it starts. I suppose so. Should we join it again? It's just... We can... We need to do... Um, yeah, we can walk with it for a little bit. You seem indecisive. You should gain more confidence. Yeah. I see you swinging your sword around, killing a whole bunch of things, including mine, and then you hesitate over your words. Words are powerful. Swords are easy. Words are words are hard. Agreed. Yeah. Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but if you get better at riddles, <laughs> maybe we'll make more friends. Hey, maybe we should all think of a riddle for next time we see Finn, if we see him. We should. Uh, I like that. Do riddles need to rhyme? No. No. What rhymes with Athena? Nothing. We should we should follow the the, the ghost parade. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was more confident. Good job. <laughs> so proud of you. As you guys walk down the street with the ghosts, they follow the exact same path. Okay. Not acknowledging you in the slightest, they walk forward on their march towards. I think we'll just go back to the inn. I don't think there's really yeah. point to keep walking. Yeah. I would like to so. see where they go eventually. But tonight's not the night. So, as you do, you go to the inn, you open the the door is locked. Crud. Damn it. Can Make uh, perception checks. Can't you get through that window? We don't know the <laughs> window's window. open. I don't imagine the proprietor on, would like on the first to floor. His window. I mean, we could no, that, that... break the window on the first floor, but we might not be able to stay. No, here. maybe we can wiggle something under. I that got an eight. Doesn't open. I got twenty-three. Uh, at all? Oh. I thought it was just shut. 
I got a big old four. So as they are, as they're kind of like sitting there and they're they're arguing, Mirik, you're just like, oh, I don't know what to do. You grab onto hey, this this sorry Luna. You grab onto this rope and you start swinging yourself. <laughs> what can we do to get in? And then you think, you look up, and you see the rope that is leading up to the uh, room. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the glass won't make too much noise. I Guys, guys, I've look! I've never look, broken look, in. Look. What? Guys! So whoa! Look! Look! Uh, oh! How did it's... we do that? <laughs> I don't know, I think I made it. <coughs> oh! Well, wow. good job, Luna. That's Thank you. And I guess we'll climb up the rope. Let's climb! Yay. You know what you need to roll. Oh. Okay. I've been really so bad tonight. Why are you uh, sad about it? Uh, <laughs> is it athletics? Yeah, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Ten. Eight. Oh, oh athletics? <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, it's 11. <laughs> we all do shit. So each of you, in turn, takes the, turn, <laughs> takes the rope and slides down and hits your, lands on your ass. <laughs> so... I mean, my excuse is I'm a, I'm more than half dead. What's your excuse? I'm just not feeling it. I'm Luna. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should we just go hang out somewhere else, or? We could do that. I mean, can we check around the rest of the building, see if there's any other way in? <laughs> yes, um, as you walk around, you do find a back door. It is also locked. Okay, who who has the skills to unlock this? I don't think any of us have. Do you think do you think you can break open a door quietly? Can I attempt to break open the door quietly? Amazing. You can certainly try. <laughs> um, okay. I'm not using that dice because it failed me a couple of times. <laughs> not the gay die. No, that was I. I used uh, my pink die. Okay, okay, okay. What is this? What was this roll? Sorry, what am I rolling? Strength. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that'll be a twenty-two. Okay. <laughs> so you wind back up and you kind of and you you give it like a. Less of your like full push through, and you more just give it like a like a little bit of a tap. Um, it is. <laughs> I don't think anybody heard that. Okay, so as you I think you're good. you see the uh, the um, the lock where the lock was into the door just splinters out, <laughs> um, but the door is open, and you. Whereas it made more of a cracking sound, it was quite qu not loud, but it wasn't quiet. Mm -hmm. Um, and the door is open. After you two, Yay! <laughs> go 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 can go. We, fix it? we should make it. You know, I uh, feel bad. I don't like, know if any of us can fix it right now. Um, can we drag a chair it? over? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna door. say, prop the chair under. Okay, <laughs> so you guys do that. <laughs> Um, can we, um, how much do broken doors usually cost? You would know, right? Or do yeah. you just break them? Oh, I just, I just break doors. <laughs> oh. oh. Hmm. You never pay for the doors you break? I paid for one the other day in Gertrude's house. Oh, how much was it? Yeah. Oh, I just house. dropped him ten gold. Oh. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So... You broke it, so you should probably <laughs> need the gold. <laughs> I, that we seems bought a fair. lot of stuff recently. I bought a lot of stuff too. Um, so we're inside the inn now. Yes. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna go up to the counter, and write a sorry about the door note, <laughs> and leave ten gold on the counter. <laughs> Done. With that, you. Make your <laughs> Make yourself feel better by, you know, paying your retribution. 
And, we uh, should start a fund or something. You head to bed. A door fund. A savings account for doors. <laughs> um, you guys, I'm assuming you're heading right to bed? Um, yep. Gonna go to bed. Okay. Y'all find your rooms. Luna and Mira, you were given separate rooms. Uh, they were paid. They were paid for individually. Uh, we're still gonna sleep in the same room. Okay, so <laughs> you guys head to bed. Uh, we're gonna head back to the other two. Well, um, that happened. Um. He was toying with us, clearly. Vampire that old. Must have come clearly just to show off his power and what he can do. And Lee finally lets go of the death grip, white knuckle death grip she's had on her uh, silver short sword. Kind of shakes her hand out a bit. <sighs> Rinnerite does about the same with uh, some of the materials from her pouch. It... <sighs> Don't worry, I was with you. I was ready to shoot the bastard with moonlight. And, yeah, but... That, that would have ended on both our deaths, and, you know... Had I survived... Well, I mean... That would be a moot point, but um, I I wouldn't want that to befall you. And unfortunately, I have sworn to help Gertrude or help Mary find Gertrude and to protect Irina. And yeah, had we perished, that would have uh, definitely hampered that effort. Um, so it's probably best we didn't attack. Him, a vampire that old is... Lee, Lee. You're rambling, love. Uh, Take a breath for a second, all right? <sighs> look, Sorry. Look, Coming I'm, face I'm to not, face. I'm not going to try and tell you how to live your life, all right? But for what it is right now, coming from somebody else who now has a lot more weight on her shoulders than she was expecting, you can't let that be the driving force of your life. You've got things you want to atone for. I respect that, and I'm I'm going to help you at this point. If we don't help each other, where are we going to get to in this place? But you got to you got to learn to let it be. Yes. I mean Yeah, that is very hard, but I can try. I mean... I've been doing this for so long, and... You'll notice that at this point, Leah's probably fiddling with her braid a bit. Maybe undoing the end, or fixing the end, or whatever. Just, yeah. I guess it all just kind of hits you at some point. Or... At all points, it's... It's easiest when I'm on the hunt when I'm when I have something tangible to focus on and thankfully we have Irina to focus on now keeping her safe but <sighs> it's the quiet nights that are the hardest they are and the difference here is that you don't have to sit on that I'm not going to tell you to forget. Don't ever forget. That's part of the point. But when the quiet nights are getting difficult, I'm here to help you talk. It doesn't have to be so quiet, you know? And I'm sure the others would love to hear from you as well. <laughs> God damn it, chat. Uh, I... It's... I know. I just... The little ones, they are so... happy and driven, and I mean... 
I wanted to tell them about, you know, running into Strahd the other night, but I would do it in my own time. It's... Oh. Why must oh, be so difficult? Don't worry. I understood that one entirely. With how jumpy this whole bunch is, they were going to go running off into the woods after it. Aye, and, I mean... I shudder to think what might have happened if they were present for our encounter with this land's lord. I... With Luna, I cannot allow such pure innocence to come to harm. I, I, I can't. I, I cannot uh, okay. allow... Can't. All right, all right. Hey, hey, hey. Lee? Sorry. Luna's all right. I know, I know. I don't... I don't know what you're working on right now. Just... And I really want to respect that you're trying to protect Luna in their place. Whoever it is. And I'm sure they're very happy you're doing that. <sighs> yeah, it's just... You know... Living with the weight of the knowledge that it's all my fault what happened. And trying to fix that. Well, then. <laughs> Things the way they are, you just might get that vengeance yet. Oh, I. Gods, I hope so. Oh, goodness, listen to me. <sighs> oh, don't you I... be worrying don't you be worrying none about any kind of blethering on. I've heard all kinds in my day. Y have you have you ever heard a castle maid speak? <laughs> uh can't say I have. You hear some real things then, alright? Don't worry about you talking about nothing. That I'm I always believe. happy to listen. So I guess you and Sankla go quite a ways back then. A few years at this point. Yeah. Hmm. He's a good man. I respect him. He's got some strength and drive that I can't help but admire. He's fighting for a lot more than just himself right now. Yeah, he carries himself in such a manner as to suggest that. And, and forgive me if I'm prying, and what about you? What are you specifically fighting for? To be bluntly honest, I'm fighting for him. That's, that's all I've got in my life. Um, you know, I, I've run my course in a couple of places, but the Underdark wasn't originally my home. I ended up there running away from something. Oh, jeez. Not seen my parents since I was probably eight or nine, so, you know, spent a couple of years down there and remembered that I owed a little bit of a debt to the kingdom above, and, uh, well, <laughs> here we are now. My goodness. <sighs> yeah, and I... hey, you know, in, in time, I'm not saying right now, but in time, maybe we can do a little bit of trading, one story for another. That... That would be nice. Uh, I mean... Hell, I guess tonight can't get much worse. Um, what would you like? I can give you... I can give you something. I can... Let me tell you about my brother. My twin brother, Finn. Hmm. We, uh, he and I were inseparable. Our, our village was small and I mean, we were in tune with our environment. So we, uh, there weren't many children and even fewer children at the same time. So we got into all sorts of mischief and silliness and, you know, kid stuff. Took forever for us to earn our adult names. Let me tell you. <laughs> Uh, but 
he um and Lee will uh pull her um will show the really it's the it's in the shape of an oak leaf but it's it is crude it is crudely carved and very well worn from rubbing right right he uh he was never very good at carving but he he carved this and he was so proud of himself that day mm. and i couldn't help but be proud of him too but he's gone now gone the way of the rest of the village of data gone to the flames <clears throat> and what about you well stories Uh, I suppose I could explain a little bit of, uh, how I got to be in the Underdark. Um, you know, there's been a weird bit of backlash in, uh, smaller communities against, uh, my kind, specifically. Um, most people, most people care a lot about our kind, where, uh, where this land, where our land originally is, of course, but there was a few people, specifically in my village. Uh, my father made a deal with somebody. They uh, didn't care for that deal much, so uh, they chased us out. We uh, we ran for probably a month. Till we finally came across Penumbra. And they were willing to shove us off somewhere else for a little bit of help. <laughs> I, uh, I watched... Uh, I watched my sister go along the way. Tiny little thing. Um, had a little bit of trouble keeping her quiet in the night and, uh... It was either take her with us and risk the whole pack of wolves finding all of us, or uh, leave the little one behind. Oh. I then went kind of the same way. He did eventually go in the flames, but part of it, and we encountered a cave, and there was something awful in that cave. It set upon us, and he told me to flee, only for the bastard to show up later. Um, oh god i'm sorry i yeah i can't do much more it's no that's fair that's fair you you've but, said a lot as of you and i'm i'm sorry for your loss loss of your family your sister hey do you know i know you said you haven't seen your parents since you were very little do you know if they are still alive Ever since I hit the Underdark, I haven't been able to find them. Well... Hmm. Sometimes Look. the missing is the hardest. At least if... At least the dead, there's some... Certainty there. But for what it's worth... I hope they are still alive and that you can one day find them. It, uh, it'd be nice. Uh, oh, right. Uh, before I forget, I guess I should, uh, deal with this really quick. And I, I quickly, um, quickly get like a tiny little bit of solvent and, uh, start to kind of clear the sap from, <laughs> sap from their oh, shoulder. Of course. <laughs> Sorry. That was, uh, I was originally planning a little bit of a prank on you, but, uh, you seemed a little worse for wear. Uh, yeah, it's just, hmm. I don't know, just another two more names. 
Two more plates to go into the braid. So I hope to be able to cut this thing off, but for now, it is my burden to bear. But and honestly, I I hadn't even noticed. I've had this armor for years since I first started wandering, so mm-hmm. it's uh, it's seen much worse. <laughs> That's fair. Um, look, it's. It's getting late. Uh, they might be worrying at this point if they don't find us. We should probably head back. Agreed. And, Rainer Ray, thank you for this. Anytime, love. Alright, and then we will start leading the way back. Yeah. And back at the back. end. She'll, yep. You guys head back. Um, as you do, you see the end of the procession of the marching ghosts just past the tavern. Hmm. Make a reception check, please. Sure. That's a 15 on the die, plus 5. 20. So as the, you see them rounding the corner, you see a dark figure standing next to a house. It's just, just darkness, and then slips around the corner. I'm, I, uh, read, 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 I, I saw someone, um, I'm going to follow. So, as you head around the corner, you find nothing. You find no tracks, you find nothing. Can I look up and see anything overhead? You look up and you see the stars. You scratch as your scar just slightly itches. Hmm. Lee turns and heads back to the inn. Uh, Wait here, I'll get back up in there and I'll unlock the front door for you. You're able Uh, to climb up. Open the door for Rinare. Alright. You both can make your way to bed. The dawn comes the next day. As sunshine, yes, sunshine fills your rooms. It's different. Do I feel healthy? You feel healthy. Yay! You all make your way down. Again. Make your way back down to the um to the tavern area where you find Arena sitting there. I think, it's a, I think it's a good day to set out. Who do you? Most sun I've seen in a few days. Certainly a good omen. It's the first time we've seen real sun in months. <laughs> this is the day. Then set out we shall. At this point, sure. Lee has just come down the stairs to hear mm-hmm. this. Um, you guys sit down. She offers. She's like, um, let's, shall we have breakfast then? Yeah, breakfast would be good. Uh, she pays. You guys all have breakfast, and as you are... Wait, uh, wait, wait. Um, guys. What kind of tree can you carry in your hand? I don't know, Mary, what. A palm! <laughs> <gasps> wait, I got another one. I got another one. <laughs> I'm practicing. I couldn't... I stayed up... A little bit in the night. Yep. But while Mira's doing this, Luna's just gonna walk past everyone and leave to just sit outside. <laughs> in the sun. Uh, you okay, know. I got one more. This is uh, this is for okay. us. You know? Okay. Why was the broom late? Why? I have no idea why. It overswept. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, not strong enough. You're very clever, young one. All right, let me keep uh, working on it. Then. So, I don't. As think you he all eat your breakfast, there are uh, no nos. <laughs> and Luna heads outside. Luna, you'll be the first to see it. You see Ismark coming down the street, like almost at a like hurried pace. He's like, 
Uh, look, Luna, hello. Mark, hi. It's a perfect day for you guys to depart, is it not? It's we haven't beautiful. had sun here forever. It's so warm. I know. He kind of like, <laughs> he kind of like picks you up and goes, ha Oh, God. <laughs> he puts you back down. Sorry, sorry. I'm very excited. We don't see the sun often. Can we see Luna out the window? <laughs> uh, kind of, yeah. What is my sister doing with that man? All of a sudden, the door, like, the door will open. Hey, how are you all? Good morning. Hope you all had a good sleep. Very. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, yourself. Yourself is Mark. Oh uh, yes, yes. I uh, I slept. I slept well, actually. Um, surprisingly. I'm glad um, to hear that. Yes. Uh, I'd like to thank you all. I'm sorry I left so quickly, but I had a lot on my mind. No further explanation necessary. I I know how it is. So, um. I've brought you guys some stuff to uh, get you through your journey. I got you a little bit of rations and uh, water. Um, I uh, set it up in your cart. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, no problem. My pleasure. Um, I just wish to come and say goodbye to Irina. Oh. And see you out of town. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. Of course. Um... <laughs> Arena, would you please go uh, check the horse to make sure uh, everything's okay before we set out? <laughs> She'll get up. <clears throat> Give her a care, please. She loves those. Of course. Of course I will. Now, uh, I believe my brother is going to give you the please protect my sister speech. <laughs> 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 I will be outside. Um, with that, he'll, uh, she'll head out to the cart. And uh, he'll turn to you and go, well, she fucking ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> sisters Please, uh, want to do that. Yeah, sisters. <laughs> Please be careful out there and uh, keep an eye out for my sister. Okay. Of course. This, uh, I do swear to keep her safe with my life. Lee, you need to stop doing that. <laughs> Lee is going to send a sharp glare at Mira. <laughs> I'm just saying. I appreciate it. Now, let us get you on your way. This uh, is... Mark. It is Mark. Yeah, Mark. Uh, <laughs> quick question. Yes, Una. You know everyone in town, right? I try to. You know, uh... It's a little hard to know everyone in town. Oh, I was going to ask why Finn was in the graveyard last night. Finn? Hmm. Do not know this man. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Perfect time for the music to cut out. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, Lee, at the mention of that name, goes white as a sheet. I've been practicing my riddles, but you guys are denying every single one. Yeah, he didn't want to play with us. He only wanted to do riddles. Are you okay, They have such good references. <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't... I am sorry. I cannot give you a hand here. Wait, did you know of the girl... The little girl... Gertrude? Gertrude, I believe she is uh, Mary's daughter. Okay, okay. I've only heard of her. She doesn't leave the house ever. Oh. Well, She's missing me. Uh, uh, the story I hear way too much. We're yeah, just going to keep our eyes out for her. Cause please I do. I think Lee made a promise. He <laughs> makes promises to everyone, so probably. But yours well, is the most important one to us right now. Do what you can for everyone in Europe, yeah. I mean, I appreciate you helping my sister, but... As much as they do not see me as this, and they call me what they call me, I care for Barovia. What do they call you? You have not heard my nickname. Uh, no. Just know you. Pardon me, like wishes that. for you to continue this way, but they let me know that I am Ismark the Lesser. 
Lesser than what? My father. Oh. But do what you can for Barovia. We will, and... If there's anything I can do to help you, I will. Keep an eye out for my, uh... For the ravens. Never okay. harm a raven in Barovia. Oh. Never. I'll keep that but in mind. if I can get the message to you of things, other people show up that can help, or if I have anything that I... that comes up into this town, I will do what I can to help you. That's appreciated. Very of much course. appreciated. Of course. Actually, uh, I... I do have a question. Um, where would be the nearest uh, source of fresh water? Uh, that would be... Uh, would the Serpool be okay? Serpool would be uh, an excellent choice. Uh, there's also the Iblis River, which is to the south of us. But uh, if you're looking to fill, that'd be the place to do it. There's a encampment of Istani there. Um, they'll... I always let you stay with them as long as you solve them a good story. All right. Thank Maybe you. even see their mysterious Madame Eva. We have heard something of her. They do like probably. they like to send people that way, adventurers specifically. But hmm. I digress. Um, we can talk more on the road. I'm going to see you to town. Of course. Okay. Agreed. Okay. So with that, you guys head out. Um, as, we're, as we're walking out, Ritterade just kind of slips an arm around Lee. <laughs> oh yeah. And how, and how, yeah, how tall yeah. is Ritterade, by the way? Six feet. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, 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 look. What? Look. So, oh, there's almost like, like kind of, you um, and Ismark, you know. They kind of reaches up and pats Lee, <laughs> then continues out the door. Okay, so you guys head out. Um, outside up front, you see uh, Penelope with the cart put to her. With a look at, uh, at Fjordstein, she goes, <laughs> oh, horse, rubber face. <laughs> she loves the horse. <laughs> oh, look at the two cute couples. <laughs> um, Is this well, like a are we ready to go or what? We're burning daylight here, and we actually have daylight. Oh yes, yes let's go. Economies kind of of the essence. Let us get on the road. Of course. Is this like bad luck, though? Eventually. No. It, How could no, sunlight be bad luck? No, that's true. You're right. Athena is place... with us today. Yeah. Actually, I'd say place... you guys feel uh, the touch of Athena quite uh, oh, quite a bit more today. God, she has blessed me. She has saved me from being vampire spawn. Okay. <laughs> I so, feel so healthy. We're gonna continue on here, guys. The place I want to get to here. Yeah, I know. Um, Sorry. No worries. No, no. I love the role play. So it's all good. <clears throat> so heading west and south out of town. You you walk along, Irina keeping in pace, and Ismark just next to her, kind of saying his goodbyes. You see a little couple tears in his eyes and in hers as well. They don't know when next they'll see each other. As you guys get to the just out of town, Ismark st stops and looks down. Good luck. And he stands there as you guys continue on. Well, slowly as he fades into the distance. Before we go off, there is one last thing I wanted to say to him. Of course. Athena be with you? Uh, no. no. Um oh. Nope, just me. Okay. Lee is gonna, pro she'll they'll continue on. Then she'll turn around and kind of jog past, uh, jog back. Say, I promise, I will keep her safe. Oh my god, here she goes. And go she'll again. she'll turn to leave, and then she'll go back at the end. Uh, as she turned to leave, he puts his hand on your shoulder. Stop you. Mm. You have promised. You don't have to reassure me. I believe I'm... in you, Lee. Well, thank you. And, for the record, 
I think you are a great man, Eastmark. Thank you. Then she'll head back to the others. Of course. And you guys head and see the town of... The village of Barovia slowly fading into the distance. Bye, Mark! <laughs> Goodbye, little one! <laughs> Jack, God damn it. Um, there are a few hours on the road. You guys come up to a bridge crossing of a crossing of a river. Old... It's seen its time, this bridge. But it looks sturdy. You assume that many... Many uh, travelers before have crossed it. The river flows clear as blue winter sky through the valley. The sun shines down. You find yourselves excited for the road ahead. You cross the bridge, you continue on into the... Surrounded by the woods. Not oppressive like last time, but open. Full of hope. Irina walks next to you, looking nervous and excited at the same time. As you guys continue on, you reach a crossroads. An old wooden gallows creak in the chill, w- the chill wind that blows down from the high ground to the west. A frayed le- length of rope dances from its beam. The well-worn road splits here, and a signpost opposed to the gallows points off in three directions: Barovia Village to the east, Tisser Pool to the northwest, and Ravenloft slash Valaki to the southwest. The northwest fork slants down and disappears into trees, while the south- southwest fork clings to an upward slope. Across from the gallows, a low wall crumbling in places is partially enclosed by a small plot of graves shrouded in a light fog. Hmm. Which way is going to get us there fastest? Well, it's less getting there fastest and more... We do have a slight detour to make. Uh, I mean, we have been told of Madame Eva twice now, so I think we might as well take a visit to Sarah Pool. And it'd be good to fill our water skins there. In addition to the supplies these Mark gave us, it's always... It pays to be prepared. Mm -hmm. Agreed. We should take caution with the camp, though. Agreed. Those Vellani. Is that what it was? Vistani. Vistani. They can't quite be trusted, and they send adventurers in particular there. Well, how many have come back, right? Yeah. Keep our wits about uh, about us. Agreed. So, you guys head down the, path, the, the dirt path. You hear a creaking noise behind you, coming from the gallows. Where there was nothing before, now hangs a lifeless gray body. The breeze turns the hanged figure slowly, so that it can fix its dead eyes upon you. Sankla, you see yourself hanging from this, the gallows. You making eye contact with yourself. Everyone else, it's just the body. Yeah, he goes white as a sheet. Reaches Uh, down and grips the sword. Are you all right, Sankla? Must. Is it. Do you not see me there? No, but considering where we are, I'm, I wouldn't be too surprised. This place strikes me as a uh, landscape that likes to trick the unwary, or maybe not even just the unwary. I, I don't think it looks like you. I think you look 
healthier. <laughs> well, she's not wrong. <laughs> this is more Luna's forte. <laughs> suppose I'm seeing things. Sankla, you know as well as I, we share a bond. I'd know if something was up. Do we want to get a closer look at it? No. Maybe we should cut him down. He's just kind of hanging there. Though it does feel like all we do is bury bodies. Well, what's well, one more then? We'll go over and look at Fjordstein. Again? Again. Oh, he looks right. pretty gross. Uh, well, careful, I, you catch him. Is, is, is he so. moist or is he desiccated? So, as you guys head over, you start to smell the smell of death. Oh. oh. As you reach up, slowly the body melts away, disappearing slowly. And within a few seconds, it's gone. <laughs> kind of like Avengers, like the... <laughs> oh, too many memories. I haven't seen that fucking movie. Oh, um, you've seen memes about it. You've seen the trailer. Uh, well, um, I think that lends credence <coughs> to what I said there, Sankla. Yeah. <sighs> Best keep our what's about us is landscape itself is corrupt. Just but it's pretty. Me. It's nice not to have my own eyes judging me. That's all. Leo will go over and kind of pats Uncle on the shoulder and onward. As you guys continue for the next few hours, the road slowly fades away to a muddy trail. Luckily, you do find cart tracks that you're able to keep Penelope on. Seems like wagons have traveled this way many mm -hmm. times. The road gradually disappears and is replaced by the twisted muddy path deep eh. the canopy of mist and branches suddenly gives away to black clouds of boiling far above as the, the sun seems to start to fade there's a clearing here next to a river that widens to form a small lake several hundred feet across five colorful tents each 10 feet in diameter are pitched outside a ring of four barrel top wagons. A much larger tent stands near the shore of the lake. It's sagging form lit from within. Near this tent, eight unbridled horses drink from the river. The mournful strains of an accordion clash with the strings of several brightly clad figures around the bonfire. Oh, singing. Meh. <laughs> a footpath continues beyond the encampment, meandering north beyond the river and the forest's edge. Well, I believe we've arrived. That we have. Are we looking for someone specific here? We were told to search out, say, seek out, say, Madame or Madame Eva. Mm. So, heading forward, um, you do find that there is a uh, one of the the men dancing around. Goes, oh, it looks like we have guests. <laughs> Welcome. Thank uh, you. Greetings. How can uh, how can I help you? Uh. We were told to seek out a Madame Eva. Is she here? With that, he goes silent. Of course she is. Sorry, oh. I should say solemn. My apologies. Of course she is. Um, I will, uh, please wait by our fire and uh, warm yourselves. I will go speak to her at once. Thank you. Um, with that, he uh, heads off. And you guys sit around the fire. With, um... With other people? Sorry, I'm just trying to get the nut. Twelve, uh, eleven other Vistani. Oh. They're sitting there, they're sitting around the fire, telling stories and guzzling wine. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, and who are you? 
We don't have a name yet. Not we'll get back to you. <laughs> you have a name. A na <laughs> name. You seem to have oh. a soul about you. Boy. <laughs> of course I have a soul about me. <laughs> but here's my question. Have you seen my wine? I think it's I've lost your hand. It. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> How is he funny? But I Malik, said all morning with Malik, the Malik, I riddle. found it. <laughs> uh, step up my game. It's rather <laughs> nice to see a lively bunch. That it is. It's uh, <coughs> refreshing yeah. after how solemn early abilities. That place spirited. sucks. <laughs> um, oh, as you guys are talking to him, uh, the other man will. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Um, Madam Eva would like to see you. Oh, well, all right. right. So quickly. Ah, uh, yes. We will head straight to because we want to see her. Of course you do. She's a wonderful, powerful woman. Um, with that. Yeah, he'll lead you over to that large tent that's sitting by the. I'm sorry, but does edge. he seem scared or like almost be benevolent about her? Like, she, like, like he respects her so much oh, and reverent. Reverent. That's what I'm looking for. Reverent. Like you guys spoke of Madame Eva, and it's like it's like Athena. Yes. Okay. All right. Got it. You put it on mirror terms. Right. Um, with that, he'll bring you up and he'll pull back the curtain. I guess Lee will enter first. Lee, Lee, try not to make a promise this time. Sonic will Just follow saying, us. We've got a lot going on. I'll it's head on in. It's getting a little exhausting. Mira, you are not beholden to my oaths. My burdens are mine to bear. <laughs> and that's the problem. Magic flames cast a reddish glow over the interior of this tent. Revealing a low table covered in black velvet cloth. Glints of light seem to flash from the crystal ball on the table as a hunched figure peers into its depths. As the crone speaks, her voice crackles like dry weeds. At last you have arrived. <laughs> we were Did, expected. Do you need some water? <laughs> no. I am. I am okay. I'm just just but, making sure. I want to be helpful. But it's lovely to see you, Fjordstein Bitterbutton. <coughs> Excuse me. What was that? I'm Hero. sorry. I Hero. Told anybody of that. Hero of the town of Otris, slayer of the lizard men. It's getting a little weirded out right mm. now. I don't Can know how see. you know so much about me. And of course, Mira Crystalwood and Luna Crystalwood. Hi. Sisters of Athena. Chosen one. Mira, yes. how are you since the fight with her? Who? You know who. Yeah, I'm good. Luna, I hope you know. On calm nights, he still looks up at the moon and thinks of you. Lynn is going to go behind Lee. <laughs> Sanko Bertwell. As she says your name, she puts a large smile on her face. The Hollow Prince. Are you sure you're worthy to, worthy to re wield that? Hmm. No one else left. Lee Shanadel.
What happened with your brother? Your village. I'm sorry. And Rinare. Salas. Your past is somewhat clouded to me. I'd prefer it stay that way if I had such a choice. <laughs> you come. Why do you come? For answers? For questions. I believe my last name speaks exactly why I'm here. Actually, we were just told about you from a group of uh, Vistani back in Barovia. You know? Yes, well, they love to throw my name around. Hmm. Would you like... A reading. Hey, sure. Very well. This is what I can provide. The Taroka deck can tell you much of what lies ahead of you in Barovia. But are you ready to hear and understand? I understand what many people here believe of my people. What I offer is nothing but truth. Well. That I promise. No falsehoods will occur under my tent. Truth is certainly welcome. What is your price for <sighs> truth? I've offered truth to many people. I see something in each one of you. Maybe you'll be the ones to do the job that no one else could. Or maybe you'll be part of that for the next people. Now, guys, I am going to apologize. I'm doing a true reading for you guys. I was going to pre-plan this, but I'm going to do it. Um, oh so it's going to take a bit of flip in between oh things. But <laughs> we are doing a true reading here. Baller. Oh, boy. It feels sick. Mad Eva puts forward her old bony hands and pulls the first card. She puts it back. Uh, actually, we should play it this way. And she puts the deck towards you, Lee. I guess Lee will, looking at her expectantly and questioningly, draw the first card and play it face up on the table. Okay. She, you pull the first card from that. She grabs it from your hands. Flips it over and looks at it. <sighs> Places it face down. To the left. <sighs> Again. She reaches over to Renere. I've never been one for divinations like this, but sure, I'm willing to try anything. She pulls the card. She looks at it. Not looking at it, I should say that. She's looking at the back of the car. And she places it to the north. She'll look over at Fjordstein. And I believe this one's yours. I'll take it and... That, she places it to the east. Hmm. With that, she puts down the deck of cards she has and pulls out another one. This has containing less cards. Would the prince please pull one? 
The truth has a way of getting people in trouble, madam. And he draws a card. This one goes to the south. We have one more to draw. And I see two sisters here. She puts it in between you both. Together? Okay. Uh, I guess we'll pick it up together. Yeah. This card goes to the middle. Oh yeah, bitches. We the middle. Mira and Luna. She looks up at you and she grabs the first card to the west. Was this, this card tells of history. Knowledge of ancient of the ancient will help you better understand your enemy. And it is the four of stars, the abjur. The what? The abjurer? The abjurer, sorry. I see a fallen house guarded by a great stone dragon. Look to the highest peak. She leaves the card face up. Now she reaches to the north. This card tells of a powerful force for good and protection. A holy symbol of great hope. And she flips the card. And it shows the seven of swords, the hooded one. I see a faceless god. He awaits you at the end of a long, winding road deep in the mountains. She then reaches to the east, flips the card, and you see the master of coin, the rogue. Nope, I didn't read the <clears throat> This card is of power and strength. It tells of a sword of sunlight, a weapon of vengeance. I see a nest of ravens. There you will find your prize. She reaches down and grabs the self. This card sheds light on one who will help you greatly in your battle against the darkness. The champion who you must seek. Flips it. It's the artifact. Look for an entertaining man with a monkey. This man is more than Who's he. Who's this? <laughs> Finally, she reaches to the middle card. Here we go. Your enemy is a creature of darkness. Whose powers are beyond mortality. This card will lead you to him. It flips, and you see innocent. Oh, weird. He dwells within the one whose blood sealed his doom. A brother of life Snuffed out too soon. With that, she reaches to the west and hands her card back to Lee. Lee will take the card. She'll reach the north 
and proffer it to Renere. She'll flip it back and put it back into her deck. She'll pull to the west to Fjorstein. She flips it, puts it back in her deck. The second, the to the south, she offers it to Sankla. Sankla will take it from her. And finally, she'll grab the innocent card, the last one remaining. You both have claim on this, but I do believe this belongs in one's hands. And he, she offers it to Luna. She'll flick it over to Mira. Uh, I will. I'll take it. Okay. So. Uh, this is what I can offer you. The rest is up to you. Well, thank you for the aid and the guidance. Of course. She stands there in silence at this point regarding you. You left us a lot to think about. Did I? I guess I did. Also, if we had more time, I'd help you. I'd ask you to help me write riddles. <laughs> <laughs> I see that you one day will be a great riddler if you are able to survive. Uh. We will, don't worry. <laughs> well, that is all that I have time for. And that is probably all the time we have. We will look over Sankla, shall we, and the others. Shall we continue on then? I believe we've spent our time here. Very well. As you guys walk out of the tent regarding the fortune which each of you may believe or disbelieve in your own right. We're going to leave it there, guys. <sighs> Who's he? <laughs> Who's who? Luna's keeping things from me. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank everyone for hanging out with us. Um, oh, that God. was uh, quite the... I think quite the emotion-filled episode. Hey, yep. Yep. Um, hey, I did ask who's ready for shenanigans and feels. Oh yeah, you did. I was ready. Yeah, and I told you it was gonna run later than two and a half hours. <laughs> You're right. You're right. It wasn't even my oh, yes. fault this time. I hope you enjoyed it, Kamikaze <laughs> Worm. We have this kind of intenseness every Monday night. Every Not Monday really Monday. this level of intenseness, but close to. Really? Uh, <laughs> yes. Really? Like He's happen. an intense person. Lee's like cried every time, made a deal every time, broken the deal. <laughs> Actually, I did cry in this one. Fuck. I like it. <laughs> we saw. <gasps> and no. then take the time to thank my players and the people watching. Everyone, Bye. thank you so much. Um, <laughs> check us out uh, next week. Also, if you're, you're a little bit behind, check us out on iTunes and Google Play, or wherever you get fine podcasts. Um, we are. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get episode four up as quick as I can and get to five. I'm so backlog, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> I, I know how but, to. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll, uh, 
we'll get back to this next week. Find out where the characters want to go, what they wanted to do. And if they have any questions and, for uh, each other all of a sudden. Yeah. Fight some stuff and ask questions. <laughs> what oh, drama? don't worry. Oh, don't worry. I remember, Alex. I remember Wednesday. <laughs> oh, also, yes, thank you for the subscription. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate it. It gets, lets us bring more quality content. Down you go. <laughs> well, with that, guys, I think nice. I'm ready to head out. Uh, as oh, they said, gosh. I did want to go two and a half hours, but a little yeah, longer than that. We a lot of decompression to do. God damn. We still have dinner. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I am evil. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. Nighty night, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.